Jing Al Iaquinta and Justin Gaethje. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Nice move of punch. What a right hand by this young man. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this count. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Ooh, and he caught the kick. Gate cheese shot is blocked. Big body kick. That punch, no good. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Nice hook there by Gaethje. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Ally Aquinta. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was gonna be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Iaquinta gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush. And now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage. And you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Gaethje's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. The one-two punch is true. Just missing on the high kick there. Great punch. Final minute of round one. Oh, nice advance there by Gaethje. Just relentless in his pursuit of not just perfection, but of the opponent. There. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high. Blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, goes to the ankle pick now to get him down DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Beautiful man. All right, let's check out some of the action. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Beautiful hook. That shot is blocked by Gaethje. By Gaethje. By Gaethje. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Raging Ally Aquint. And he landed the right hand there. into these big leg kicks. Huge shots there! Back to the feet! Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Whoa. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take
take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Close guard. Sound strike on the ground. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Iaquinta. While the numbers continue to pile up, 74 total strikes have landed for Justin Gage. Well, not necessarily the efficiency you'd be looking for, landing with 36% accuracy against Al Iaquinta. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So a huge result and a seminal... Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going